My name is Dan Davis, and you can find me at DanielDavisLMFT.com. The LMFT stands for Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. Today I'm going to talk about something called self-soothing, or the other, another word for it is emotional self-regulation. What that means is, is that's our ability to calm ourselves down. And this is a really important thing. So let's say I, uh, I have a fight with my wife or, or you have a fight with your boyfriend, your husband, and uh, you feel really upset. You feel really scared. You're afraid they're gonna leave. You feel really mad. Um, you feel really sad, whatever it is. Um, it's not gonna be helpful often to talk too soon to that person. What helps a lot is to actually calm myself down first and then have a conversation with them. It makes a big difference. Uh, so this is one way to do that. Another emotional self-regulation is a way to calm myself down. Another issue is uh, being afraid of, of being with people, whether it's certain people or whether it's certain situations. Like I'm afraid to go into a big group or I'm afraid of being in a big crowd or uh, I'm afraid of being around men or I'm afraid of being around women. This works in a lot of different ways. So how do I, how do I calm myself down so I don't feel like I can't be around those people or can't be in those situations or I have to have a drink to calm down or I have to smoke a little pot to calm down? How do I do that? So emotional self-regulation or self-soothing is the way we do that. And babies learn to do that. Babies learn to calm themselves down when they're sad. That's something that moms do and then babies learn how to do themselves. Um, so this is a really important thing for us to do psychologically. I made a video uh, on emotional subregulation, something I called um, the, um, the kitchen sink or the uh, garbage disposal technique. So you can look at that and see how to calm yourself down. This is Daniel Davis. And you can find me at DanielDavisLMFT.com. Thank you.